Massachusetts CDL Passenger Vehicles Test. Question 1. Never refuel your bus. Without a static chain. With a higher grade of fuel. With any of the windows open. In a closed building with passengers on board. Answer. In a closed building with passengers on board. Question 2. You must not allow rider to stand. In front of the standee line. Within 2 feet of an emergency exit. Within 2 feet of any window. Between the wheel wells. Answer. In front of the standee line. Question 3. When inspecting your bus, you must make sure that Emergency exit handles are secure. Every handhold and railing is secure. Rider signaling devices are working. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 4. When should you check your mirrors for a lane change? Before and after signaling the change. After completing the lane change. Right after starting the lane change. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 5. You may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 300 pounds 250 pounds 100 pounds 500 pounds Answer 500 pounds Question 6. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. Stopping time increases one second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. Answer. You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 7. How many folding aisle seats are permitted in a bus that is not carrying farm workers? Zero. Eight. Six. Four. Answer. Zero. Question 8. If there is no traffic light or attendant, how far from the draw of a drawbridge must you stop? 100 feet. 5 feet. 50 feet. 10 yards. Answer. 50 feet. Question 9. Your bus is disabled. The bus, with riders aboard, may be towed or pushed to a safe place only. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. If the distance is less than 500 yards. By another bus with its four-way flashers on. By a 27,000 GVWR or larger tow truck. Answer 
if getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Question 10. Never refuel your bus. Without a static chain. In a closed building with passengers on board. With a higher grade of fuel. With any of the windows open. Answer. In a closed building with passengers on board. Question 11. The reason you must be alert for road hazard is so. Accident reports will be accurate. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Law enforcement personnel can be called. You can help impair drivers. Answer You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Question 12. When should you check your mirrors for a lane change? After completing the lane change. Right after starting the lane change. Before and after signaling the change. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 13. When stopping for railroad tracks, you must stop no closer than how many feet before the nearest track? 50 20 25 15 Answer 15 Question 14 how many folding aisle seats are permitted in a bus that is not carrying farm workers? Four. Zero. Six. Eight. Answer. Zero. Question 15. A bus may carry baggage or freight in the passenger area only if it is secured and meets which of the following requirements? The driver can move freely and easily. Any rider can use all exits. Riders are protected from falling of shifting packages. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 16. Buses may have recapped or regrooved tires. Only on the front wheels. On any or all of the wheels. Anywhere except the front wheels. Only when the average speed will be less than 40 miles per hour. Answer. Anywhere except the front wheels. Question 17. If the rider wants to bring a car battery or a can of gasoline or kerosene aboard your bus, you should Tell them they must go to the rear of the bus. Not allow them to do it. Instruct them to sit next to an open window. Have the rider pay a second fare. Answer. Not allow them to do it. Question 18. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. Stopping time increases one second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. Answer 
you need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 19. If there is no traffic light or attendant, how far from the draw of a drawbridge must you stop? 100 feet 10 yards 50 feet 5 feet Answer 50 feet Question 20 you may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 250 pounds 500 pounds 300 pounds 100 pounds Answer 500 pounds. Question 21. Never refuel your bus. With a higher grade of fuel. Without a static chain. In a closed building with passengers on board. With any of the windows open. Answer. In a closed building with passengers on board. Question 22. Buses may have recapped or regrooved tires. Anywhere except the front wheels. Only on the front wheels. Only when the average speed will be less than 40 miles per hour. On any or all of the wheels. Answer. Anywhere except the front wheels. Question 23. When inspecting your bus, you must make sure that Rider signaling devices are working. Emergency exit handles are secure. Every handhold and railing is secure. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 24. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Stopping time increases 1 second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. Answer You need about 4 times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 25. Your bus is disabled. The bus, with riders aboard, may be towed or pushed to a safe place only. By another bus with its four-way flashers on. If the distance is less than 500 yards. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. By a 27,000 GVWR or larger tow truck. Answer. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Question 26. When should you check your mirrors for a lane change? Right after starting the lane change. Before and after signaling the change. After completing the lane change. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 27. If there is no traffic light or attendant, how far from the draw of a drawbridge must you stop? 50 feet. 
5 feet 10 yards 100 feet Answer 50 feet Question 28 You must not allow rider to stand in front of the standee line within two feet of any window within two feet of an emergency exit between the wheel wells answer in front of the standee line question 29 you may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 300 pounds 100 pounds 250 pounds 500 pounds Answer 500 pounds Question 30 Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Stopping time increases one second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. Answer You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 31. Which one of the following types of cargo must never be carried on a bus with the passenger? Emergency drug shipments. Emergency hospital supplies. Tear gas. Small arms ammunition, ORMT. Answer. Tear gas. Question 32. Which of the following types of emergency equipment must you have on your bus? Reflectors, fire extinguisher, accident reporting kit. Spare electric fuses, fire extinguisher, and accident reporting kit. Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors. Hydraulic jack, fire extinguisher. Signal flares. Answer. Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors. Question 33. A bus may carry baggage or freight in the passenger area only if it is secured and meets which of the following requirements? The driver can move freely and easily. Any rider can use all exits. Riders are protected from falling of shifting packages. All of the above. Answer All of the above. Question 34. Which one of the following types of cargo must never be carried on a bus with the passenger? Small arms ammunition, ORMT. Emergency drug shipments. Tear gas. Emergency hospital supplies. Answer. Tear gas. Question 35. Never refuel your bus. Without a static chain. With any of the windows open. With a higher grade of fuel. In a closed building with passengers on board. Answer. In a closed building with passengers on board. 
Question 36. If there is no traffic light or attendant, how far from the draw of a drawbridge must you stop? 5 feet 10 yards 100 feet 50 feet Answer 50 feet Question 37. The reason you must be alert for road hazard is so. You can help impair drivers. Accident reports will be accurate. Law enforcement personnel can be called. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Answer. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Question 38. You must not allow rider to stand. Between the wheel wells. Within two feet of an emergency exit. Within two feet of any window. In front of the standee line. Answer. In front of the standee line. Question 39. Your bus is disabled. The bus, with riders aboard, may be towed or pushed to a safe place only. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. If the distance is less than 500 yards. By another bus with its four-way flashers on. By a 27,000 GVWR or larger tow truck. Answer. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Question 40. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. Stopping time increases 1 second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. You need about 4 times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. Answer. You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 41. Which one of the following types of cargo must never be carried on a bus with the passenger? Emergency drug shipments. Small arms ammunition, ORMT tear gas emergency hospital supplies answer tear gas question 42 if there is no traffic light or attendant how far from the draw of a drawbridge must you stop 10 yards 50 feet 100 feet Five feet. Answer. Fifty feet. Question 43. A bus may carry baggage or freight in the passenger area only if it is secured and meets which of the following requirements? Any rider can use all exits. The driver can move freely and easily. Riders are protected from falling of shifting packages. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 44. Buses may have recapped or regrooved tires. On any or all of the wheels. Only when the average speed will be less than 40 miles per hour. Anywhere except the front wheels. 
only on the front wheels. Answer. Anywhere except the front wheels. Question 45. When is it best to wear your seat belt? Only if your bus holds more than 27 people. Only when you will be driving over 35 miles per hour. Always. Only if required by company policy. Answer. Always. Question 46. When you discharge an unruly passenger, you must choose a place that is off the regular route, as safe as possible, or the next stop, dark and poorly lighted, the next stop. Answer. As safe as possible, or the next stop. Question 47. You must not allow rider to stand. Within two feet of an emergency exit. Within two feet of any window. In front of the standee line. Between the wheel wells. Answer. In front of the standee line. Question 48. How many folding aisle seats are permitted in a bus that is not carrying farm workers? 8. 4. 0. 6. Answer. 0. Question 49. The reason you must be alert for road hazard is so. You can help impair drivers. Law enforcement personnel can be called. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Accident reports will be accurate. Answer. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Question 50. You must not allow rider to stand. Between the wheel wells. Within two feet of any window. In front of the standee line. Within two feet of an emergency exit. Answer. In front of the standee line. Question 51. If your bus is equipped with an emergency exit door, it must. Always have a red door light turned on. Be secured when the bus is being driven. Not have any signs, stickers or marking near it. All of the above. Answer. Be secured when the bus is being driven. Question 52. If there is no traffic light or attendant, how far from the draw of a drawbridge must you stop? 100 feet. 10 yards. 50 feet. 5 feet. Answer. 50 feet. Question 53. Which of the following types of emergency equipment must you have on your bus? Spare electric fuses, fire extinguisher, and accident reporting kit. Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors. Hydraulic jack, fire extinguisher, signal flares. Reflectors, fire extinguisher, accident reporting kit. Answer. Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors.
Question 54. A bus may carry baggage or freight in the passenger area only if it is secured and meets which of the following requirements? The driver can move freely and easily. Riders are protected from falling of shifting packages. Any rider can use all exits. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 55. If a rider wants to bring a car battery or a can of gasoline or kerosene aboard your bus, you should Instruct them to sit next to an open window. Tell them they must go to the rear of the bus. Have the rider pay a second fare. Not allow them to do it. Answer. Not allow them to do it. Question 56. When stopping for railroad tracks, you must stop no closer than how many feet before the nearest track? 25 50 20 15 Answer 15 Question 57 which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Stopping time increases 1 second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. Answer You need about 4 times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 58 When inspecting your bus, you must make sure that Emergency exit handles are secure. Rider signaling devices are working. Every handhold and railing is secure. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 59. When inspecting your bus, you must make sure that Every handhold and railing is secure. Emergency exit handles are secure. Rider signaling devices are working. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 60. Which of the following types of emergency equipment must you have on your bus? Spare electric fuses, fire extinguisher, and accident reporting kit. Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors. Hydraulic jack, fire extinguisher, signal flares. Reflectors, fire extinguisher, accident reporting kit. Answer Fire extinguisher Spare electric fuses, reflectors. Question 61. Buses may have recapped or regrooved tires. On any or all of the wheels. Only when the average speed will be less than 40 miles per hour. Anywhere except the front wheels. Only on the front wheels. Answer. Anywhere except the front wheels. Question 62. If your bus is equipped with an emergency exit door, it must Always have a red door light turned on. 
not have any signs, stickers or marking near it. Be secured when the bus is being driven. All of the above. Answer. Be secured when the bus is being driven. Question 63. You must not allow rider to stand. Within two feet of any window. In front of the standee line. Within two feet of an emergency exit. Between the wheel wells. Answer. In front of the standee line. Question 64. The reason you must be alert for road hazard is so. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. You can help impair drivers. Accident reports will be accurate. Law enforcement personnel can be called. Answer. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Question 65. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. Stopping time increases one second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. Answer You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 66. A bus may carry baggage or freight in the passenger area only if it is secured and meets which of the following requirements? Any rider can use all exits. Riders are protected from falling of shifting packages. The driver can move freely and easily. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 67. How many folding aisle seats are permitted in a bus that is not carrying farm workers? 6 0 4 8 Answer 0 Question 68. You must not allow rider to stand between the wheel wells in front of the standee line within two feet of an emergency exit within two feet of any window answer in front of the standee line question 69 when is it best to wear your seat belt only when you will be driving over 35 miles per hour only if your bus holds more than 27 people. Only if required by company policy. Always. Answer. Always. Question 70. Which of the following types of emergency equipment must you have on your bus? Fire extinguisher. Spare electric fuses, reflectors. Spare electric fuses, fire extinguisher, and accident reporting kit. Hydraulic jack, fire extinguisher, signal flares. Reflectors, fire extinguisher, accident reporting kit. Answer Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses. Reflectors 
Question 71, which one of the following types of cargo must never be carried on a bus with the passenger? Emergency hospital supplies. Tear gas. Emergency drug shipments. Small arms ammunition, ORMT. Answer. Tear gas. Question 72. The reason you must be alert for road hazard is so. Accident reports will be accurate. Law enforcement personnel can be called. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. You can help impair drivers. Answer. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Question 73. When inspecting your bus, you must make sure that Every handhold and railing is secure. Emergency exit handles are secure. Rider signaling devices are working. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 74, which one of the following types of cargo must never be carried on a bus with the passenger? Emergency hospital supplies. Tear gas. Small arms ammunition, ORMT. Emergency drug shipments. Answer. Tear gas. Question 75. You must not allow rider to stand. Between the wheel wells. Within two feet of an emergency exit. In front of the standee line. Within two feet of any window. Answer. In front of the standee line. Question 76. You may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 100 pounds 250 pounds 300 pounds 500 pounds Answer. 500 pounds. Question 77. Buses may have recapped or regrooved tires. Anywhere except the front wheels. Only when the average speed will be less than 40 miles per hour. Only on the front wheels. On any or all of the wheels. Answer. Anywhere except the front wheels. Question 78. You may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 300 pounds 100 pounds 500 pounds 250 pounds Answer 500 pounds Question 79 If there is no traffic light or attendant, how far from the draw of a drawbridge must you stop? 10 yards 100 feet 5 feet 50 feet Answer 50 feet Question 80 
Which of the following types of emergency equipment must you have on your bus? Reflectors, fire extinguisher, accident reporting kit. Hydraulic jack, fire extinguisher, signal flares. Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors. Spare electric fuses, fire extinguisher, and accident reporting kit. Answer Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors. Question 81 When is it best to wear your seat belt? Only if required by company policy. Always. Only when you will be driving over 35 miles per hour. Only if your bus holds more than 27 people. Answer. Always. Question 82. A bus may carry baggage or freight in the passenger area only if it is secured and meets which of the following requirements? The driver can move freely and easily. Any rider can use all exits. Riders are protected from falling of shifting packages. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 83. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. Stopping time increases one second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Answer You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 84 Buses may have recapped or regrooved tires. Only when the average speed will be less than 40 miles per hour. Only on the front wheels. Anywhere except the front wheels. On any or all of the wheels. Answer. Anywhere except the front wheels. Question 85. Never refuel your bus. Without a static chain. In a closed building with passengers on board. With a higher grade of fuel. With any of the windows open. Answer. In a closed building with passengers on board. Question 86. When stopping for railroad tracks. You must stop no closer than how many feet before the nearest track? 50 15 20 25 Answer 15 Question 87 a bus may carry baggage or freight in the passenger area only if it is secured and meets which of the following requirements? Any rider can use all exits. Riders are protected from falling of shifting packages. The driver can move freely and easily. All of the above. Answer all of the above. Thank you for watching the video and wish you will get your driver license soon.